In this video, we're going to learn how to check whether a number is even or odd using Python. The first thing we'll do is prompt the user to enter the number and we'll store it into a variable. So we'll say number is equal to int input enter number. So the input function is going to prompt the user to enter the number with the text enter number. The string the user enters is going to be returned from the input function. Int is going to take that string and convert it to an int value. We're going to store that int value into the number variable. Now an even number is a number that's divisible by 2. That means if we take the number and divide it by 2, there will be 0 remainder. We can check for this using the modulus operator. So the modulus operator in Python is the percent sign, and the modulus operator will return the remainder of a division operation. So for example, we could say if the number modulus 2 is equal to 0, then we know the number is even. So number modulus 2 is going to return the remainder of the number divided by 2. And here we're checking to see if it's equal to 0. If it is, that means the number is divisible by 2. And in that case, the number is even, so we'll print out even. Otherwise, if the number is not even, then it's odd. So we'll print out odd. We can save this and then try running our program. We'll enter in the number 7, which is odd, and we get back odd. If we run it again and punch in 8, now we get even, which makes sense because 8 is even. Now we could put this logic inside of a function and have the function return true if the number is even and false if the number is odd. So that way we can call the function again and again to check if different numbers are even or odd. So for example, we could say here def is underscore even number colon. And we'll use the exact same logic. We're just going to tab it over to make it part of the function body. And what we'll do is return true if the number is even and false otherwise. Now we could test the function out with different numbers. So we could say if is even 8 then print out 8 is even. We could also do a check for a odd number. We'll say if not is even 7, then print out 7 is odd. We can save this, run our program, and we get 8 is even and 7 is odd. Now we could actually make this function much shorter. We could get it down to one line. Because if you look at what we're doing here, we're checking this condition, is the number modulus 2 equal to 0? And if that's true, we're going to return true. If this is false, we're going to return false. So basically, if this is true, return true. If this is false, return false. Why don't we just return whether this is true or false? Given that all we're doing is returning true if it's true and false if it's false. So we could just say this, return number modulus 2 is equal to 0. And now our function is only one line long. We can save this, run our program, and we get the exact same result as before. Now we could create an isOdd function in pretty much the same way. With an odd number, when we divide it by 2, we expect a remainder of 1. So for example, we could say def isOdd number. And this time, we're going to return true if the number modulus 2 is equal to 1. In other words, if the number divided by 2 has a remainder of 1, we're going to return true. Otherwise, we're going to return false. We could change our test code to test out the isOdd function. So we'll say if not isOdd 8, then output 8 is even, and if isOdd 7, then output 7 is odd. So we'll save this, run our program, and we get 8 is even and 7 is odd. But this time, we're using the isOdd function to check if the numbers are even or odd. So this is how we can check to see if numbers are even or odd using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.